PHP is, is used by companies of scale. You ever get into an argument with somebody who goes like, oh, but PHP doesn't scale, right? And then you get to the bottom of this argument, like, what does scaling really mean, right? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if you're going to try to tell me, you know, like you said, Facebook isn't a, a, a big scale company, you don't know what you're talking about, right? Like Baidu is, is the biggest search yeah. engine in Southeast Asia, yeah. PHP. Uh, you got uh, Etsy, one of the biggest yep. marketplaces yep. in the world. Yep. All PHP, mm -hmm. like everything PHP. Mm -hmm. You got Slack. If I'm not mistaken, Slack half of their backend is PHP. I heard about that. Yeah, they got so they have like this whole thing, like you know when you know when you paste a link or you paste something into Slack and it gets enriched. Yeah, that thing is like uh, incredibly quick, incredibly powerful. It enriches everything. I think yeah, that yeah. entire kind of uh, platform is built on PHP. Right. So right, right. I mean, there is a place for PHP <laughs> in scale. Right, but there's also a place for PHP in like the more what we would call uglier yeah. parts of the world. But I, if someone needs, if someone wants to argue the whole PHP doesn't scale thing, I think that's an argument that can be easily yeah. kind of you know poked yeah. uh, if you just use these four examples. But I agree with you. Like if you're gonna, if you want power, like if you're doing something like ad tech, you better stay away from PHP. Right? You need like sub millisecond kind of yeah, exactly. computations. Like there's no way PHP is gonna fit this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. But I, unless you can give me specific reasons why PHP isn't the right tool, I would argue that PHP is the right tool if you have the right people. Yeah. Right? It comes down oh, to Oh, yeah, the for sure. For sure. So if you have a bunch of Ruby pros, do it in Ruby. Yeah. Like, don't find a reason to take on a language that your team doesn't know yeah. just because you think it won't suit the yeah. job, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, look, if you have a bunch of Ruby that are really good internally mm. and you know you're going to have a Ruby team forever, yeah. go for it. Exactly. Same thing with Python. Yeah. Or C sharp. Or yeah. I'm not a fan of it, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh -oh. but I mean all languages have some as 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 benefits. So yeah. the thing we do love um about PHP is is the flexibility, um the amount of developers. Um you wouldn't serve a client properly by you know, just like that's before we were doing some Ruby, you know. But resources are not easy to find. And nowadays, like we have Shopify in, in Montreal that absorb all of them. Mm. Um, so there's pretty much have none available in the market. And, and, and we already had clients that were pissed because we've let them keep going with Ruby. And when they left us, they couldn't find anyone that was affordable to work on the project. Mm. And and that's why we ended up just focusing on PHP because it's good for everyone, you know. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, I mean it's it's a more versatile I find, yeah, um, more flexible, easier, and more convenient. But there's not much you cannot do with yeah. PHP nowadays. Yeah. So exactly.